Long back in ancient Greece, there lived a king named Midas. He was known to have a lot of wealth in his kingdom, but in spite of having so much treasure, the king was never satisfied and happy. He was always greedy and wished for more wealth and treasure. One day, when the king was in his treasure room and was counting all the gold coins, he was visited by a Greek god named Dionysus. He offered a wish to King Midas for some of his good deeds. The king became so greedy for gold that without wasting any time, he quickly made a wish to turn everything that he would touch into gold. His wish was granted by the Greek god, which made the king extremely happy and delighted. He quickly went to his garden and touched an apple tree which turned into gold instantly. He became so excited with joy that he went on touching all the things around him to turn them into gold. His happiness knew no bounds. After a while, the king was hungry and thought of going inside the palace to have his meal. But sadly, he was unable to eat anything as whatever he touched turned into gold instantly. At last, had to starve in hunger, and soon he became frustrated with his situation. King Midas also had a sweet and lovely daughter named Marigold, whom he loved very much. Upon seeing her father in trouble, the daughter ran toward him to comfort her father. But as soon as she threw her arms around her father, the daughter turned into gold. King Midas was shocked in pain and unbearable grief. He sat there crying in regret upon seeing his daughter turn into gold. He soon realized that his greed was the biggest mistake, and he himself is responsible for all this. King Midas cried and begged the Greek god to take his wish back and bring back his daughter. Soon after, the Greek god appeared in front of him. Feeling sorry for King Midas' situation, he took the golden touch wish back from him. The Greek god also instructed him to take a dip in the palace's pond and pour that water over all the things he wished to restore to their previous state. He obeyed and did everything that was instructed by the Greek god. Soon he sprinkled the pond water on Marigold, and she quickly returned to her normal state. The king was overjoyed to get his beloved daughter back and thanked the Greek god. He took a pledge to not become greedy towards anything ever again.